the defending champion, the all-new Yamaha YZ450F. Hi everyone, it's Brent Farrell with Dirt Bike Test. Today we're testing the charging output of a 23 Kawasaki KX450X. We've hooked up our battery monitor, which is just a relatively cheap uh, monitor that you can pick up off Amazon for usually around $40. It's a shunt style, meaning that we put a shunt, which is what you're looking at there, it sits in between the negative terminal of the battery and the chassis ground. And really what it's gonna do is gonna monitor voltage, amperage, amp hours, and even percentage. And I'll show you the monitor here. Right now it's showing the voltage of the battery, which is just a little over 13 volts. I can also flip it over to percentage here. It's showing 94%. Now that percent is based on a starting point that I set on this monitor. I don't know exactly how many amp hours this battery, the stock battery on this bike uh, uh, supports or contains. I had this set at 9,000 milliamps or nine amp hours, uh, and I just left it there. For our purposes, I don't really care exactly the capacity. I just wanna see the movement. And I purposely ran the battery down just a little bit to, to uh, force the charging system to charge the battery once I connect and turn on the lights. So I can also flip through some other screens here. Um, first is amps. Right now, there's almost no draw on this battery. Nothing's on. Uh, the only the very minute draw that you see there is just the, the that uh, that this monitor is created on its own. And then the total amount of amp hours. So this, as I mentioned, started at 9,000, and it's slowly gonna count down when the battery's on, uh, when the battery's being drawn, uh, it's gonna count down and show how many milliamps I've consumed. Now, if I plug in the light, okay, now I've plugged in the light and I can flip over to amps and see the actual amp draw on the battery. Now, I currently have our, uh, our KC Flex Aero One lights connected to the bike. Only two of them though, just to give me a, a, a draw that I can measure. So each of these lights draws 23 watts and together they draw a little over three and a half amps uh, at the moment. We will see that number come down just a little bit as they've been on for a little bit. Uh, and then I can flip over to my amp hours and see that number counting down. So right now it's running at a loss. You can see the negative. It's going to continue to count down until ultimately the battery was dead. And then the percentage will show me as I'm drawing down. It's not an exact percentage because I don't know the total capacity of this battery, but it gives me a rough idea where I'm at. So I'm going to flip it back over to, to uh, amps, start there, and then I'm going to start the bike. see some of that while I was uh, starting the bike or after I started the bike the draw went down on the amp side of the meter to almost zero in fact it was kind of bouncing between a negative number and a positive number just pretty much sitting there exactly breaking even or very close to it and that tells me that this draw is just about what this bike will produce at an idle 
And then I also, if you noticed, I flipped over to the amp hours portion of the meter and was able to see pretty much no movement. So it wasn't counting down, but it also wasn't charging. It wasn't counting back up. Now, as I increased the RPM of the, of the bike, then you saw the charging. So it started charging it a little bit over an amp. So what that's telling me is at idle, I can support this 46 watt draw, which is about three amps. And then I can also, you know, I can support a little bit more if I'm, if I'm keeping the, uh, the RPM above idle. And that is, gives us a pretty good idea of what this bike can support. If you're being really conservative, somewhere in the mid 40s watts, maybe 50 watts. Um, but if you do much idling, you're going to be breaking even. If you had a, much more of a draw on this bike and you didn't keep the RPMs up high, that draw would ultimately kill the battery and you'd be left uh, someplace probably stuck. <laughs> so that's how we figured this out. Now we have a pretty good idea of what we can support on this on this bike. And next step is to put some lights on it and get out and play around at night. Thanks everybody, appreciate you watching. If you liked what you saw in this video, come check us out over at dirtbiketest.com on the webs. We have bike tests, product tests, a lot of fresh dirt, and you can even support us by clicking through our links. Hopefully we'll see you out in the trail.